welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a perfume haul. Now this is not everything that I picked up this month. This is everything that I've picked up the past couple months. Um, I do also have like a really good perfume collection. I have done perfume video, like a perfume collection video before. So I'll leave that down in the description if you're interested in seeing what other perfumes that I have. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video because I do have a good amount of perfumes to share with you guys today. So if you are not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let's jump right in. First fragrance that I have here is from Dolce Gabbana. This is the light blue and this is the in the O Intense version. And this is just a 1.6 ounce, so it's like a medium bottle, I would say. Um, it is like a very like fresh, citrusy fragrance. When you smell it, you smell lemon. I'll read to you the notes. It, has, it says it has lemon, Granny Smith apple, wood, and musk. So I definitely smell a musk in here and the lemon. This does retail for $86. This is a really, really nice perfume. I really like this one. I definitely see myself wearing this. Like it's a very like uh, spring and summer fragrance. I love citrus smell. So this is like right up my alley. Next fragrance I have here is from Hugo Boss. This is The Scent. Um, it is for women. I know they have a men's version. And excuse my nails. I know I need to touch them up. But yes, this is the woman's version. It's a very like fruity fragrance. Definitely smell peach when you first smell it. It smells peachy, fruity. Uh, I definitely see myself wearing this in like spring and summer. It is very good like because it has, it's also fresh. So it's a very good, very good like everyday fragrance. Notes, it says it has peach, freesia, those are the top notes. The middle notes are osmantis flower. And then the bottom note says it's roasted cocoa. Very fruity fragrance. I really like it. I like the packaging on this too. Um, I love that it's the color pink. Very girly. Very feminine. Next fragrance I have here is from Burberry. This is a newer Burberry fragrance. It's the Her fragrance. It does retail for $124. It's very nice fruity fragrance. Um, it has some like food foodiness to it that makes you want to eat it. It's very, it smells very yummy. This is one of my favorite Burberry fragrances. I like this one and the Burberry blush as well. And then the notes on it, it says it is top notes are red and dark berries with the middle note of jasmine and a base note of amber and musk. I thought the packaging look, was a little funny. Like, I need to do some research and find out what was the design like the idea behind the design of this bottle. So I'm wondering why they have it, why they have this sprayer on the side right here. Like it's just a very odd, like just to just pop it right there on the side. But you know, it does smell really, really pretty. Next I got a couple of Prada Candy fragrances. This is the original Prada Candy. And then this is the Prada Candy Night. Both of them, I believe, retail for $126. They are more like sweet fragrances. This one, let me tell you the notes. This is the Night, and this has orange essence, chocolate, caramel, vanilla, and white musk. And you could definitely smell the chocolate in this. I don't really smell the orange essence in it, but definitely smell the chocolate in it. And it is one of those more musky, deeper fragrances. And then the Prada Candy, uh, it has musk, benzoin and caramel both of them are like sugary sweet fragrances of course this one is a little bit more musky i really like both of them they both are just smell very yummy and this is a little bit it is more deeper but you could definitely smell the chocolate in this one i like both of them i think because they both have caramel and i'm a big 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 fan of like caramel sweet fragrances i love like Dulce de, le Do Dulce de Leche, however you pronounce it, Dulce de Leche, Dulce, Dulce de Leche, uh, I love Caramel, um, Butterscotch, all those like creamy, sugary things I really love. So I think that's why I really, really like these ones. These, I do feel like they could be more like wintry, fall kind of fragrances because they are more warmer. Like this one I would definitely do more like at a nighttime, date night, uh, fall, winter. This one I would do like any day, any season. Um, it is sweet, but it's not too sweet where you can't wear it in the spring and summer and it not smell good on you. 
Next, I just have a little like baby size. This is just a little travel size of the Jo Malone. This is the English Pear and Freesia. This is a very like fresh floral fragrance. It's clean, but you still smell, you know, really pretty, very feminine fragrance. Jo Malone fragrances are meant to be like combined, not necessarily just with other Jo Malone fragrances, but you can combine them probably with any fragrance that you have in your collection. I think you could probably do that with any perfume that you have, but Jo Malone is known to combine fragrances. It is a more pricier perfume, like just this size alone costs $70, and this is only a 30 ml, and it's $70, so it is more pricey, but this is one of my favorite ones from Jo Malone. I also really like, um, what is that called? It's Sea Salt. Something with sea salt. I don't remember. If I remember, uh, I'll look it up and put it on the screen. But it's something which sage and sea salt, I want to believe, as the other one that I really like. But let me tell you guys about the notes. As the top notes is the King William Pear with the middle note of freesia and a base note of patchouli. I was surprised when I looked at the notes and saw that this one had patchouli in it because patchouli is a more spicy ingredient um, that not everybody likes, but I don't really smell the patchouli in it too much. I know like the Tory Burch Love Relentlessly has patchouli in it, um, and I really like that one too, uh, but I smell the patchouli in that one. And this one, I don't smell it, but I really, really like it. Next perfume that I have here is from Marc Jacobs. This is the Daisy. This is the Oh So Fresh Sunshine. So they have the Oh So Fresh and then this is like the limited edition version from I think last year. They have a new one already so uh, if you like this one pick it up because it is limited edition. That's one thing about Marc Jacobs fragrances, like they do, they have the Daisy, Daisy Oh So Fresh and the Daisy Dream and then they're always coming out with limited edition fragrances on each one. I really like the Marc Jacobs line. They're usually like fresh, citrusy, fruity fragrances. This one's more like a fruity, fresh fragrance. Um, see, it says it has the top note is pear, the middle note is mimosa, and the bottom note is, I'm going to mispronounce this, Hellotrop. And then as you can tell, like when you look at this, it, spring, it screams like spring and summer, right? It is a fresh, fruity I'm definitely seeing myself wearing this um this summer and then it's one of those like bottles that is super super cute that you just place on your vanity and it will just catch your eye something about this one almost reminds me there was a perfume that i had when i was a little girl um it's like in a purple bottle and i can't remember for the life of me remember the name of it but my mom would put it on me when i was little and something about this one rem reminds me of that fragrance if you're hispanic and your mom used to put on like a purple bottle on you with like a little baby on it let me know what that name is because this is what that smells like and it's fresh it's fruity it just brings me back to when i was a little girl so i really like this one the bottle is really nice that's one thing about mark jacobs perfumes as well he always comes out with like the most pretty bottles like they have that bottle um or fragrance decadence that it's like a little purse and it looks so so cute but to be honest i don't like the smell of that one it smells horrible for some reason when i smell it it reminds me of pickles so it's a super cute bottle but i'm not a big fan of the fragrance but it is not the most long lasting fragrance you do have to touch up on it um i'm not sure if it's eau de parfum or the toilet it is an eau de toilet, yeah, so um, it is a eau de toilet, so it's not as long-lasting, but it is really pretty. It's not going to last you the whole day, but if you don't mind touching up or your fragrance not lasting the whole day, sometimes I don't mind a fragrance if it doesn't last on me the whole day, to be honest. I don't mind touching up. I'll, even if I touch up with something completely different, like I can spray this at the beginning of the day and then have like a travel size of my Tory Burch in my purse, and then if I don't smell it, like say it's this clock in the evening and I have I'll just grab my purse and spray that if I'm out and about I don't mind touching up with different fragrances so it is very like personal preference and you what would you do for love <laughs> every time I see this bottle it reminds me of that commercial with Natalie Portman and she's like fighting with that her lover and she's like screaming and it's like ah! yeah it reminds me of that commercial um and then she goes you what would you do for love yeah, that's what 
this reminds me of. Uh, but it is, it, this is the Miss Dior. This is from Christian Dior. It's the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This fragrance is long lasting. It is going to last you like a good, like for me, it lasts me like a good eight hours. I can spray it at the beginning of the day and still smell it at the end of the day. If you're looking for longer lasting fragrances, definitely go with something that is an Eau de Parfum instead of an Eau de Toilette. The oils are just more concentrated in them. They're more finer ingredients, so they are going to be longer lasting for you. Um, but this one is a very floral, musky fragrance. You could definitely smell the musk in it. It has bergamot, grassy rose, and rosewood. And it's more on the expensive side, of course, is Christian Dior. It is $135. If you've never tried a Dior fragrance, they are very beautiful. They are very rich. Mostly all florally fragrances, like the J'adore. J'adore is one of my favorite, favorite perfumes. I do have it in my collection, so check out my perfume collection video if you have not checked that one out yet. Next fragrance is from DKNY. This is the Stories fragrance. DKNY, if you don't know, stands for Donna Karen New York which I thought is very very fitting for this bottle it is very New York like it reminds me like the Empire State Building bottle you could tell is very much inspired by New York City the notes on this one it has pink pepper pink guava mousse vanilla bean sandalwood and amber I definitely smell the pink pepper and vanilla in this it is a very fresh very floral fragrance and then last but not least is the Carolina Herrera this is the good girl fragrance it is known as the high heel fragrance the shoe fragrance very 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 beautiful bottle they have came out with like a limited edition bottle of this and it has like a pink hill which i think is so cute i kind of want that one but i'm like i just i don't know i have this one already so like do i need it it smells exactly the same but i kind of want it just for the bottle it does retail for 119 dollars and it's a very very sexy fragrance long lasting this one lasts on me a very very long time it says that the notes on it, its top notes are sambac, jasmine, and tuberose. And then the middle notes are velvet almond with a base note of tonka bean and cocoa coffee. Um, it is a more like warm fragrance. This one I feel like if you like like flower bomb, I think you'll like this one. If you like Coco Mademoiselle, I think you'll like this one. It kind of gives me those kind of vibes. It's a high heel, so it just looks perfect on your vanity. Like this one, along with that Daisy one, and my Donna Karen one, and like all my other fragrances. Like I'm a big sucker when it comes to packaging. Like not only with makeup, but I'm a big sucker when it comes to packaging for fragrances. Like look at how pretty this is. That is so cute. And then I'm going to try to get a picture of the pink one. And I'll put, post it so that you guys can see it. Alright guys, well that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know what your favorite fragrance from this haul was. Have you ever tried any of them? Um, or just what your favorite fragrance at home is. What fragrances do I need to check out? What are your must-have fragrances? Let me know down below. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you are not subscribed, please make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.